Hello guys, welcome again. Uh, today I am going to unbox a new pressure washer which I have purchased from Amazon. Uh, this is the main box, which I take from all sides. The main box, uh, which this uh, pressure washer has a right to Amazon. There is some sort of label here. Let's just quickly open this box. Inside this box we have got another box and a user manual. Uh, some sort of pamphlet. This is the brand name StarQ. The model number is W3. StarQ W3 new model. Box guys. This is the main box, guys. It says starting high pressure washer, working pressure 120 bar. This is the model. This is the W3 new model. The packing goes through. There are some details written. Some details written here on this side of the box. W3 high pressure voltage, 220 or 50 Hz, 1800 watt is the motor power of the motor, 120 bar is the maximum power at which maximum pressure at which the pressure water will work. 10 liters per minute is the flow rate. This is the this box again. Box is just held in place with these straps. Uh, the tape is already removed from one side. Some sort of card, a warranty certificate from the company Starq. It's a Pune based company, Pune Maharashtra. They uh, outsource, I think they I think outsource these products from somewhere and then uh, sell it under their own brand. They have several uh, type of different models for pressure washers and other uh, power tools which you can buy from them. Mostly they sell on Amazon. I have a person. I have uh, already done a personal chat with the seller before buying this model and before finalizing this. Finalizing this. So inside the box, I got this white nozzle. It is a inlet nozzle. It has got a filter inside. This can be used with direct tap water. Then we have got uh, a user manual. It's picked on. Minor tape work will fix it, so the tape will do this perfect magic on this. Then there is this. This is the high pressure outlet hose. It must be around 5 or 6 meter. I will measure it and uh, leave, the, uh, leave it in the length in the description. It says clean high pressure hose 6 mm 6090 psi. Looks good enough. Then there is this. This is the trimming pipe. This is to be used when you are using a bucket water. Uh, this can also be connected to your tap. Uh, I am going. I'm mainly going to use this pressure washer with the bucket water because I don't want to waste the tap water. And for the bucket water, I am uh, going to use the. I am going to reuse the water. Not going to use the fresh water. So, this pipe looks of an acceptable quality, could have been better, will not bend easily. So, someone told me that this pipe with, from with this model is better than the one they used to provide with the previous one. So, let's see how this works. Then again, there is a small thermocol box 
on top of the main box. This is the main gun. This is the main pressure gun. This looks nice. This is the main attachment for the gun. You can fix different attachment over here on this point of the gun. And this is the main nozzle. This nozzle will create the pressure. This is the opening and closing mechanism, if you can see. When you open it, it will spread the flow. When you close it, it will uh, produce a pointed flow, a pointed pressure flow of water. This gun looks like a nice bottle. Uh, then there is a one more attachment. This would be for the self filling pipe, this yellow attachment and this thing. Both these are for the self filling pipe. Self filling pipe it will work like this. The pipe will have to put it like this. And it will go inside here. Here, then we will close it and let it fix it. And there is a clamp, this is a small metal clamp to use on the inlet pipe. Now in the box, this is the main machine. This looks quite heavy. Just put it aside for There is a filter. This filter is to be used with bucket water on the inlet pipe. This is this thing else inside the box. They told me that they will be giving one more filter along with one more attachment along with this attachment. This, this is box type. Let me show you this main machine. This is in red color. is quite heavy. Ah, there is one attachment here. This attachment is to be, this is an inlet port. This is the inlet port. This black attachment is to be used when you are using bucket water alongside with this filter. If you are not going to use this filter, then you have to use this attachment for your inlet hose because this attachment has got a filter inside. If you are not using this filter, then you have to put this attachment on the inlet port and then attach the pipe because there is a filter inside this port and there is no filter inside this attachment. This is nice that they have provided both the attachments for the inlet, uh, the, the prim self priming pipe and the tap part pipe. It says warning tested, sticker is just this machine look good from one side sign of damage. This is metal. This is plastic. It has got a plastic covering. There is a pressure hose. There is a pressure gauge here and on of switch. There is this outdoor port. This inlet port. This here is the main power port. This is the power cord. This could have been longer, but no problem. We can use uh, extension with this. Uh, it is nice that they have given a, given a two pin adapter with this, so it can be used in any uh, plug which you have in your home. Uh, in the machine there is uh, no star tube branding. There is something JY110 written on the bottom of the machine. Uh, then on this side it is, says star W3 high pressure also. Here again the voltage return, the maximum pressure return, uh, the 120 bar 10 minutes per liter. 
you can see this. Just it close to the camera. Right. And there is a on-off switch. It's a waterproof switch. That's it for now, guys. Can you give it up? Lal button, the bike is going to be. Can you give it? Hmm.